Hi. So today I'm going to actually talk to you guys about perfumes. And I'm going to do that because I was at the gas station the other day. Uh, I was with my husband. We were in his Jeep, the top's off because it's a beautiful day. And we need to stop and get gas. So pulls over, starts, hops out of the car. And it took a minute, but all of a sudden, the smell of gas hit me like a punch in the face. I immediately felt nauseous. I wanted to gag. I felt so bad because my poor toddler is sitting in the back and he starts to whine. Um, so anyway, I grab my mask. I put it on. I'm like trying to just manage for another minute or two. Luckily, my husband noticed and I was like, all right, I guess we're not going to stay here and I'm not going to fill up the rest of the car. So he wrapped that up quickly and we got out of there ASAP, which was awesome. Um, and anyway, that's because I'm sure you've probably noticed by now, but when you're pregnant, you're so much more sensitive to the chemical smells um, that are all around us. And I think that's for a really good reason. Your body is trying to protect you from harming your baby and you, and it's basically telling you to run, get out of where you're at because this is bad stuff. And so far, luckily, this pregnancy, I haven't been around really anyone wearing perfume, and that's because it's COVID and I'm not really traveling like I used to. So when I used to take the train to work, I want to say half the time, guaranteed there would be somebody who would sit right down next to me wearing perfume. And I'd have to decide, well, do I want to keep my seat? Do I want to get up and either hope somebody else is going to give me a seat? Do I want to stand for another 40 minutes to an hour. Um, it was a battle every single time. Half the time I probably got up. The other half of the time I was just like, all right, I'll breathe over here. Um, at one time I was on a three and a half hour long train ride from New York to Boston and somebody sat next to me wearing perfume. I sat there for 10 minutes and I was like, no, this isn't happening. So I eventually moved to the cafe car. And then the guy across from me from a very apparent pregnant woman starts bringing out his vape pen and starts vaping. It was like, I can't get away from it. Um, anyway, here's the deal with perfume. Perfume contains phthalates, um, which is basically phthalates are made to linger in the air and on clothes for months. And these chemicals can make up 80 to 90% of a bottle of perfume. They're well-known endocrine disruptors, which means they affect your hormonal systems. And right now you really don't want anything unnatural affecting your hormones. Uh, they're also linked to birth defects in kids. It's been found that they can decrease IQ by six points in children whose mothers were exposed to them during pregnancy. Um, they've even been linked to certain cancers. So it's definitely not great in pregnancy for sure. Uh, even when it, you're not pregnant, they're never really okay though. So throw away your perfumes. Um, they also suppress metabolism and contribute to obesity and diabetes and thyroid irregularities. None of these you want. And specifically in men, actually, these endocrine disruptors are known to kill testicular cells, lower sperm count, cause birth defects in the male reproductive system. Um, I could go on about men, but um, this is mainly for women. So. Um, Phthalates are also not really just in perfume. It's actually the chemical that keeps plastic soft and pliable. So most of this, um, you know, the Poland spring bottles and stuff like that, that's all made with phthalates. Um, and it also gets worse in heat. So it's going to be released. So that Poland spring bottle that's been sitting in the sun all day um, or in your hot car, you're basically drinking phthalates directly. Um, so, so I'll do another video on plastics in general, but, um, phthalates are bad news. Do your best to, to only go with products that are, that are free from phthalates. Uh, so here's what to do. Definitely don't wear them yourself. Um, if you need to use products with fragrance, uh, you can turn to things that contain essential oils or just, uh, other, other natural ingredients. Um, there are plenty of them out there. I would also try to get them out of your household. So um, in deodorants and your husband's deodorants, things like that, you want to look for, for something that says it's, it's phthalate free. Um, and then obviously something that is a little bit less in your control, but secondhand exposure is also really not good either. Uh, so my suggestion is to move, get away from them. If it's something like a coworker who is always wearing perfume, it might be awkward but talk to them, maybe get them a gift of, of nice essential oils and be like, listen, I really can't manage this when I'm pregnant. Um, 
here's a gift and and please wear this or something else or nothing instead um if somebody does what you know what was happening to me where if somebody sits next to you on a train get up go move to the other side of the train honestly somebody will most likely offer up their seat to you anyway so if you really want to sit down unless maybe you're in new york city most likely you'll get a seat um so that's it avoid fragrances um especially ones that are are definitely made from from chemicals that are really awful for you you really don't want the side effects from that um so that's it for today uh, if this was helpful or if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, share it with your friends who also might find this useful. And um, I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.